Hi guys, it's me Jimmy again, the new AMD Crezo APU. If you don't know what the hell AMD Crezo APU stands for, the APU main CPU plus with a dedicated graphic card on the CPU chip. It is it is a new big thing indeed. Yes, within five years, the graphic card, the dedicated big ass graphic card, will be dead. Nobody will ever ever will. Think to buy a dedicated big graphic card because the AP, APU will be already dominating the market. Basically, Intel, basically Intel do not have any real serious APU. They only use the Intel on board graphic, which is which is really good. The new Intel uh, 5200 Intel HD graphic is really good, but it is not really for serious gaming compared to APU. AMD APU currently AMD APU are you can play really good gaming on high quality 1080p full HD like Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4 with no problem absolute no problem yeah the frame rate will be will drop because because it is an and small graphic card chip on a small CPU not a so big graphic card but the point is, is here is that APU will take over basically will take over the graphic card market i don't know how amd will manage because amd have already on graphic card line plus they are now just focusing on the amd apu i don't know i wouldn't be surprised if amd within for next five years fully kill their amd ready on graphic card line just focus on amd apu because amd apus are really good thing especially for graphic editing in graphic editing you do not need a gaming graphic card you just need enough graphic for doing the editing so APU really shine due to OpenCL and due to some uh, small uh, features which are really awesome which can easily handle down only the problem which currently APU are behind because APU use the DDR3 RAM so if you are using an APU you need, need at least 8 GB of RAM if you just throw 4 gig of RAM because at least the APU will use 2 gig of RAM at the end of the day you have 2 gig for your normal operating uh, window so it's better you just throw an 8 gig of RAM and just dedicate 4 gig to your APU DDR RAM is slow compared to a dedicated graphic card GDDR5 RAM but 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 I think within 2016 the APU will start using DDR4 RAM which is faster than a DDR3 but still not faster than a GDDR now the basically the engineer of AMD are trying to figure out how they can bring the GDDR RAM on the CPU or what is the way around so that is not for today i will talk an, about this another day so back to the story amd amd crazy apu is coming for laptop only in 2015 it is a sad news but it's a great news why it is sad news the sad news is that most of people are waiting for the next gen amd cpu or, or apu whatever the hell they are waiting for because amd fx processor really currently really suck back in 2012 2013 it was really awesome but in 2014 a new fx a370e or without e the performance is really not great it cannot stand in front of i7 but this new amd ap which is specially built for the laptop this new amd crezo apu can really 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 can break all the benchmark currently set by i7 with the mobile i7 4700mq or hq1 easily because this new amd crezo apu is really really is ahead of i7 the, um, the laptop i7 i'm talking about i'm not talking about the ultra the u i7 i'm talk talking about the cute i7 which have eight logical code that i7 whether it is 4700mq whether it's 4712 whatever it just the i7 so basically this new amd apu uh, amd crazy apu will really 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 can take over the laptop market currently there's not any amd high-end cpu or apu in any laptop market if you really want a powerful laptop you always have to go with the intel but this new amd crazy apu will change at change the market this is a good news the sad news is that we have to wait for the desktop apu or for a desktop next gen 8 core 16 core 20 core processor yes there are confirmed rumors out there amd is working on a gen architecture with 20 core processor awesome 
but that will come in 2016 i will say it's okay that that is good it will give some time to uh, it will give some time to amd to to think about their strategy because intel is so offer intel is holding their next gen i7 the fifth generation of i7 and i think it's sixth generation it's so confusing yeah yeah sixth generation i7 because the new i7 which is uh, i7 5820k 30k or 60x which is a six core and eight core processor uh, this is a fifth generation i7 we call it the sixth generation of i7 which was going to release next year amd intel will not release the i7 basically on desktop market intel release the i7 every year but next year they are not going to release they are just going to release a lower end processor like pentium or i3 even they are not going to release i5 because they are holding the, all their processor to back again to fight against amd zen architecture which we release in 2016 so in 2015 we'll just get amd apu a crazy apu which is really good for the laptop but we will not get any desktop processor so that's for that's all for today and then uh, on a quick note the amd apu again this is a sad part amd apu crazy will use a ddr3 ram no ddr4 ram on laptop it will take another one year at least by 2016 we will see ddr4 ram on a laptop currently no ddr4 ram on a laptop so that's all i'm really excited to see that amd is going to take the laptop market if if this amd crazy apu work out well you you sue me i know a lot of people are suing don't sue me i bet with you apple apple macbook pro are going to use this new amd crazy whether it die amd macbook will release in june july september i don't know in 2015 but but if 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 this amd crazy apu release at least four or five months before the macbook the new macbook the next macbook is going to use the is whether it's macbook air or macbook is going to use amd crazy apu most probably the macbook pro is going to use amd because I don't know why Apple hate Intel. I can understand. Even Steve Jobs hate because Steve Jobs really wanna go with AMD that time, uh, uh, past and few years back. But there was some technical problem with AMD CPU. At the end of the day, they have to go with Intel. If if this AMD APU crazy can take over, all new MacBooks are going to use AMD CPU or you can call it APU because I don't like calling it CPU anymore because CPU only the CPU APU mean. A CPU plus with a graphic card, so it's much cooler to say APU. So really, it's a great news. I hope that every 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 laptop start using AMD APU. I'm a big fan of AMD AMD because I'm I was using AMD for more than ten years. I'm a dire fan of AMD. Indeed, yes, now I have to use Intel processor because they are really they are, they really outperform AMD in every way. But if we are just on a budget, go with AMD. It's much better. Okay, that's all. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.